Magandang araw sa inyo mga bata. Ako nga pala si Teacher Ross. Ang inyong magiging gabay sa Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Module 1 at ang ating topic ay Adding and Subtracting Fractions. So now, let's move on to our topic for today. Adding and Subtracting Fractions. Just like our counting numbers, fractions can also be added and subtracted. When counting improper fractions and mixed numbers, we are counting the number, rules, and parts. Note, the rules for adding and subtracting improper fractions are the same as working with proper fractions. Case number 1. Adding and subtracting with common denominators. Step 1. Keep the denominator the same. Step 2. Add or subtract the numerators. Step 3. If the answer is in improper form, reduce the fraction into a mixed number. So ngayon po, ay subukan natin ang exercise number 1. Add the fractions 5 over 4 and 6 over 4. So ngayon, i-add natin yung fraction ng 5 over 4 plus... 6 over 4. Una natin titignan yung kanyang denominator. Kapag ang denominator ay magkamukha, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa addition. So now, let's just copy the 4. Then, pwede na tayong mag-add ng numerator. 5 plus 6 is equals to 11. So, since ang ating answer ay naging improper fraction, kailangan natin siyang reduce. So, i-divide lang natin yung 11 by 4. So, we have 2. 2 times 4 is equals to 8. 11 minus 8 is equals to 3. So, paano po ba natin siya isasulat sa magiging mixed number po ito? So, tandaan natin ang ating quotient which is 2, siya po yung ating magiging whole number. Then, ang ating remainder, which is 3, siya po ang ating magiging numerator. Then, ang ating divisor, siya po ang ating magiging denominator. So, our final answer is 2 and 3 over 4. So, now let us try another exercise. We have 6 over 9. Minus 5 over 9. So, let us try to answer exercise number 2. 6 over 9 minus 5 over 9. So, titignan po natin ulit yung kanyang denominator. So, kung mapapansin natin, ang ating denominator ay magkapareho ulit. So, ang gagawin natin, kukopyahin lang po natin yung ating denominator. And, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa subtracting. So, now let us try to subtract. 6 minus 5 is equals to 1. At dahil po ang naging answer natin ay proper fraction, hindi na po tayo mag-reduce. So, our final answer is 1 over 9. Case number 2. Adding and subtracting mixed numbers with different denominators. Step 1. Add or subtract the whole number part. Step 2. Check, does the fraction part share a common denominator? If not, find 1. Step 3. When necessary, create equivalent fractions. Step 4. Add or subtract the numerators of the fraction part and keep the denominator the same. Step 5. If the answer is in improper form, reduce the fraction into a mixed number. Let us try to answer exercise number 1. We have 3 over 4 plus 5 over 2. 3 over 4 plus 5 over 2. So, una natin titignan yung kanyang denominator. Kung mapapansin po natin, yung ating fractions ay magkaiba ang kanilang denominator. Ano po ang gagawin natin kapag magkaiba ang kanilang denominator? Tama. Ang una nating gagawin ay kukunin natin ang kanilang LCD. 
So, ang LCD ng 4 and 2 ay 4. Then, ang gagawin natin, divide muna tayo. Then, saka tayo magmumultiply. Okay, so gawin na natin. 4 divided by 4 is equals to 1. Then, 1 times 3 is equals to 3. Plus, dito naman po tayo sa kabila. Ganun po ulit. Divide muna tayo. Then, after nun, saka natin, i-multiply. So, 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2. 2 times 5 is equals to 10. So, copy muna natin yung denominator. Then, 3 plus 10 is equals to 13. At dahil po ang ating naging sagot ay improper fraction, kailangan pa rin natin itong i-reduce. So, 13 divided by 4. So, 13 divided by 4. So, we have here 3. 4 times 3 is equals to 12. 13 minus 12 is equals to 1. So, paano nga po ulit natin isusulat? Ang ating magiging mixed number, very good. Ang ating quotient, siya ang ating gagawing whole number. Ang ating remainder, siya po ang gagawin natin numerator. And ang ating divisor, ang ating gagawin denominator. So, the final answer is 3 and 1 over 4. So now, let us try another example. We have 3 and 2 over 4 plus 1 and 1 over 4. Okay, so bago natin sagutan yung ating exercise number 2, meron akong dalawang method na ituturo sa inyo. So kayo ang bahala kung ano ang mas madali para sa inyo. So dito muna tayo sa ating method number 1. So, we have 3 and 2 over 4 plus 1 and 1 over 4. Okay. So, sa method number 1, ang gagawin natin sa fractions, ang mixed number ay gagawin muna natin siyang improper fraction. So, paano po ba natin gagawin na improper fraction ng isang mixed number? So, dito muna tayo. So, una natin gagawin ay multiply po ito, then proceed tayo sa addition. Nakuha po. So, let us try. 4 times 3, we have 12. Plus 2, that is 14 over 4. Yan po, then plus. Next. Dito naman tayo, ganun ulit. Multiply. Saka tayo mag-addition. So, 4 times 1 is equals to 4. 4 plus 1 is equals to 5. Then, copy lang natin yung kanyang denominator. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, parehas sa silang improper fraction. So, pwede na natin i-proceed yung ating addition. So, copy lang natin yung ating denominator. Then, plus natin yung dalawang numerator. 14 plus 5 is equals to 19. Ngayon, ang nangyari, ang ating naging sagot ay improper fraction. So, ano ang gagawin natin? Tama, ang gagawin natin ay mag-reduce tayo. Paano po ba tayo mag-reduce? 19 divided by 4. So, we have 4. 4 times 4 is equals to 16. 19 minus 6 is equals to 3. Tandaan natin na ang ating whole number ay yung kanyang quotient. Ang kanyang remainder, siya ang ating magiging numerator. And ang ating divisor, siya ang ating magiging denominator. So, our final answer is 4 and 3 over 4. So, ito po ang ating method number one. Paano naman yung ating method number two? Okay, so proceed tayo dito sa ating method number two.
So, kopyahin muna natin. 3 and 2 over 4 plus 1 and 1 over 4. So, una natin gagawin, pagsasamahin muna natin yung ating whole number. Yung dalawa natin whole number, that is 3 plus 1. Plus, which is 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Okay, so dito tayo, 3 plus 1 is equals to 4. Plus, okay, dito na po tayo sa ating proper fraction. Yung dalawa natin proper fraction. So, kopyahin lang natin yung kanilang denominator dahil sila ay magkaparehas naman. Then, 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. Okay? So, ngayon, remove na natin tong sign. Ayusin na natin. We have 4 and 3 over 4. So, the final answer is 4 and 3 over 4. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, Parehas lang po yung naging sagot ng ating method number 1 and method number 2. Nasa sa inyo po kung saan kayo mas madadalian. Okay po? For exercise number 3, we have 5 and 4 over 6 minus 4 and 5 over 6. Okay, so let's have 5 and 4 over 6 minus 4 and 5 over 6. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin, ang ating denominator ay magkaparehas. So, hindi natin kailangan kumuha ng LCD. Okay, ang ating operation ay subtraction. Kung mapapansin natin yung ating dalawang mixed number, Ang ating minuend ay mas mababa kaysa kay subtrahin pagdating kay proper fraction. Ngayon, ano ang dapat nating gawin? Tama, tayo ay manghihiram. So, eto po, saan po tayo manghihiram? Dito po sa ating whole number. So, babawasan natin si 5, siya ay magiging 4. Then, ilalagay natin si 1 doon sa ating 4 over 6. Ngayon, kailangan natin itong gawing improper fraction. So, paano po ba natin ito gagawing improper fraction? So, multiply natin to then plus. We have 4. 6 times 1 is equals to 6. 6 plus 4 is equals to 10. Copy lang natin yung kanyang denominator. Then, minus 4 and 5 over 6. So, kung mapapansin nyo, pwede na tayong mag-subtract. So, 4 minus 4 is equals to 0. Then, copy natin yung kanyang denominator. Then, 10 minus 5 is equals to 5. At dahil po ito ay proper fraction na, hindi na po tayo magre-reduce. At dito na nagtatapos ang ating aralin sa Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Module 1, Adding and Subtracting Fractions. Muli, ako si Teacher Ross, ang iyong guro para sa araw na ito. Hanggang sa muli nating pagkikita. Paalam!